Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady here, and this was question seven of the Disney Drawing Challenge, which was to pick any Disney animal and turn them into a human. So originally I'd planned to do um, Flounder from The Little Mermaid because um, I kind of I'd sketched out ideas like previously, like last year at some point, um, of doing Flounder, a human version of Flounder, holding up a, a plastic bag filled with water with a mini fish version of himself in it. Um, because I don't know if you can still get goldfish in bags these days because in my day uh, you could win goldfish in little bags from fairs and fates and stuff when I was a kid which is really bad for the fish because they then don't have access to oxygen or whatever and die but I don't know if they still even do that these days of winning fish at fairs and stuff but when I was a kid I had a couple of goldfish from from that I had quite a lot of goldfish actually, uh, yeah, I think the longest we had, we had this gigantic tank and we had that for like five years, so I kept those ones alive pretty well, but they were a nightmare to look after. Anyway, that's my story about fish, um, but yeah, I was going to do, I was going to do flounder holding up a bag with a fish version of himself in it, and um, then, I don't know, I ended up kind of thinking maybe I could do, do just a small ATC of flounder like facing his fish counterpart or his human counterpart um and i tried to sketch out lots of ideas for that and i really like it's i got scuffered because i cannot draw flounder <laughs> like the fish version of flounder like from a from like a profile point of view of just like the side of him it's really really hard like i don't know why i just could not draw flounder at all so I kind of gave up on that idea and instead I ended up going with a uh, I was just going to do Lady from Lady and the Tramp oh yeah this is Lady from Lady and the Tramp and, and Tramp in case you didn't work out from the scene or probably the title of the video um anyway so I was just going to do Lady and originally like in the initial sketches and stuff uh it was just going to be like a portraity thing of her and I ended up making her quite um, like Indian looking. She ended up looking a lot like um, Shanti from The Jungle Book. Um, and I quite liked that, but then I thought, well, she kind of just feels a bit too much like Shanti from The Jungle Book. So uh, then I kind of just decided to do like the scene of her like eating spaghetti. And originally it had like a hand in it as well with like a fork and everything. And they both had forks and they were trying to eat it that way. But I'm not very good at drawing her knives and forks and stuff so that kind of I scrapped that idea um but yeah then I was kind of like well maybe I'll just do like my usual chalk pastel background and uh yeah I ended up doing like the full scene from the movie and oh it took so long uh this this picture like confession I actually started this challenge early I started it in June because um because I, I created it with the Pimp Man fan and I thought, well, I really, I can't like let like someone else down who like we agreed to do it together. So I felt like I needed to kind of keep on top of it and get like ahead before we officially started the challenge. So I actually started uh, started the challenge in, in June. And this picture, it actually took like 10 days or something. It might have been 11 or 12 days even. It was just, it took so long and it was just kind of, after a while it just sort of, felt like it was staring at me with evil eyes like saying why have you not finished me yet and it kind of it really slowed down my progress on the challenge because I was just oh I didn't want to do it because it was fiddly and it was taking ages and getting frustrating um in the end I think I ended up recording it in a in three th on like three different days in like segments um with like giant gaps in between like each bit which I hate to do hate hate doing I I really like to uh like really plow on with a picture once like once it's inked and whatever I just like to just draw like color it all in one sitting but this one it was just oh lingering over my head for so many days and yeah so anyway <laughs> um eventually I kind of like uh the way the bottle turned out in this picture that green bottle I think that was like that bottle and and like the bread sticks in the jar that's like my two favorite bits of the picture that I I think came kind of came out like the best um but yeah I love the lady in the trap movie I actually watched it again like just before I started this picture because it's actually all on on YouTube but they sped it up to avoid copyright so the the voices are all high-pitched and everything 
but um, it was really cool watching watching that again and it's such a beautiful movie there's just something about like the way it's it's like I don't know like the colors and everything it's so it's just really pretty I really like that movie and I know when I was a kid um, uh, it was it was the movie that made me so want a dog. I wanted a dog so badly. I think that's what made me fall in love with dogs. Um, but we had cats when I was a kid, so we just we couldn't really have a dog with like two cats. Um, which the first cat wasn't even like really our cat. It was my sister's cat, and she bought it from a farm. Didn't realize it was pregnant, and then she moved out and left it with like it and all the kittens <laughs> so my dad ended up like having one of the kittens as well so we ended up with like two cats when I was that was when I was a baby so I had kittens like clawing my face so in all the baby pictures when I'm like really little you just I'm covered in scratches but yeah I ended up just really really wanting a dog when I was a kid and when I was a kid I really wanted Lady because I thought she is such a cool dog like because she's so pretty and and cute and sweet and now that I'm older and I watch that movie I'm like Tramp is a way better dog. <laughs> like now I would definitely want Tramp because he was so full of character and friendly with everyone. Like um, when when they go and eat the spaghetti scene and everything, like Lady's really shy to like meet Tony, the the like chef guy. And Tramp is just like friendly with everyone. So I would totally have just a mongrel. Cause that's what we ended up with when we did eventually get a dog. We just had like a, a mutt. So mutts are, mutts are cool. I like months. Um <laughs> so, so yeah, I did Lady in the Tramp and um yeah, I wanted her to look kind of like posh. <laughs> um so I hope I kind of pulled that out. Oh pulled that off and yeah, I kinda of tried to do stubble on <laughs> Tramp, but I'm not sure if that really uh worked. I'm not very good at stubble, but yeah, so the problem I had like especially when I was doing her dress was um trying to get like the colours like dark enough like everything seemed too bright um so I had to add like a lot of blue to kind of tone everything down like, especially in the hair and then in her dress I think I ended up using a B, B41 and B45 to kind of uh mute the colors down a bit because otherwise it kind of just didn't feel like it was a nighttime scene otherwise and um I used Y000 to do like a lot of and I think I used double zero as well for like the highlights like the that were kind of coming off the the candle that's why the wall on the left I tried to do it a bit brighter so like it was supposed to be like illuminated by the by the candle you can't even see it because the markers are everywhere it was ridiculous the amount of markers that ended up on my desk by the end of it I think it took me like five minutes to kind of just put them all away <laughs> um so yeah that's more or less everything I have to say now I was just adding in uh, white highlights into the hair because it makes it kind of pop out a bit more and I probably should have kept the camera kind of more like lower down so you could actually see what was going on but I think by that point I was just so fed up of having um, a flipping camera in my face <laughs> it was driving me nuts because there's no zoom function on my camera to get it like close in I literally just have to lower it on its stand like really close down to the piece of paper and then of course I have to like peer around it and like crane my neck to see what the hell I'm doing so um yeah, I kind of gave up with uh, with that. I was like, away with you, camera. So I added in some stars and some little tweaky bits here and there. And that was it. Finished picture. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my picture of Lady and the Tramp. Sorry this video was ridiculously long. I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.